Hello all, welcome to this video. In this video, let us see the third sem syllabus of VTU, Electronics and Communication Engineering branch and Electronics and Telecommunication Engineering. So these two branches, if you see, the third sem syllabus is almost similar. So I have taken these two branches together here to discuss the third sem syllabus. So let us get into the syllabus and if it is there any difference between these two branch syllabus, let us see. This is electronics and communication engineering syllabus copy of VTU, a third semester. So in third semester, you will be having 21 MAT 31 that is mathematics course. So this is common to all branches. So even EC, TC and other branches students also learn this maths that is math 31. Then the second subject with respect to electronics and communication from here onwards, the subjects are going to be changed from one branch to other branch. So you can see here the code is 21 EC32. EC indicates this is the code for electronics subject. So EC32 digital system design using Verilog. In this subject you are going to learn about the digital system design means logic gates and how to construct circuits using logic gates which are all the digital circuits you are going to learn means multiplexer decoder in the basic electronics also you have learned logic gates multiplexer demultiplexer and decoder and all and with that you will be learning uh, the bias table and application of those and how to design some complex circuits also you are going to learn here and also you are going to learn the coding methodology for that hardware that is Verilog this is hardware description language where it is used in IC design. This is what the main subject here with respect to the digital IC design is considered. You need to concentrate more on this subject here. And uh, here you will be having theory lecture for three hours. There is a practical or uh, related lab for this that is two, two teaching hours. And then it is also for 100 marks. The credits is four. And then coming to the next subject 21 EC33, this is basic signal processing. Here it is about the signals and system what we have in uh, previous syllabus. Here they have named it as basic signal processing. Here you are going to learn about how the signal will be, analog signal will be, how to process that analog signal in electronics. Those things you are going to learn in this subject. If the two signals are there, how to convolute those two like that you are going to learn in basic signal processing this is also a four credit subject and then the next subject is 21 ec 34 this is analog electronic circuits as i said in the first subject here in ec 32 this is digital system design you are going to learn about digital circuits coming to analog electronic circuits this is based on the transistors what we are going to uh, do in circuits how to uh, construct a circuit for amplifier how to construct circuit for oscillator such kind of things you are going to learn in this subject analog electronics circuits this is also a three credit subject then coming to the labs analog and digital electronics lab is there here this digital system design using Verilog and analog electronic circuits what you are going to learn in these two will be executed or demonstrated in these labs analog and digital electronics labs practically you are going to rig up those circuits circuits and the behavior of that will be analyzed here this is a lab and you can see this is one credit subject and one more subject common subject is there that is social connect and responsibility this is uh, any department will be taking this subject this is also a one credit subject and apart from these uh, core subjects with this social connect subject you will be having Samskotika Kannada and Balake Kannada and uh, you will be having uh, constitution of India and professional ethics out of these two one will be given in third sem another one will be given in fourth sem and this will be done by humanities department and this is also a one credit subject with this you will be having one more subject like ability announcement course in ability announcement course you can see here in the down here is the ability announcement course for third semester you can choose any of these uh, starting with uh, ld lab using p spice logic design uh, you can do using this p spice or multi sim 
tool or the software analog electronics lab is there or linear integrated circuit lab using piece by and multi sim again or lab view programming basics so these four are given in the ability enhancement course so one of that will be given over here this is given by concerned department and concerned board means electronics board will be decide which subject is to be given for ability enhancement course this is also having one credit this is also like a lab so this is what the third sem content is and with this you will be having activities also you can go for a national service scheme that is nss physical education and yoga and here you can see the details uh, how to carry out these activities to fulfill your uh, credits like that and one more thing here you can observe is that for lateral entry students means the students who completed diploma and join engineering those students asked has to take this subject mandatorily that is additional maths one uh, for this there will be no credit for those students but they have to clear this subject okay that is a diploma maths recall additional maths one okay this is what the subject uh, subjects what we have in third semester for electronics and communication engineering you can see the electronics and telecommunication engineering subjects as i said that the starting of the video itself the subjects are similar again we will be having mathematics for uh, telecommunication engineering students digital system design using verilog it is same again basic signal processing is also same analog electronic circuit is also same analog and digital electronics lab is there that is also there in ec and social connect and responsibility canada and uh, professional ethics subject and ability enhancement course in third semester syllabus is same for electronic students as well as telecommunication students even uh, it students means electronics and instrumentation students will be having a digital design using verilog subject with some uh, modification in the title as well as in the contents so if you are a telecommunication student or electronic student you need to go through the syllabus in detail and if it is there any small modifications with respect to syllabus you need to concentrate on the particular content okay so this is what the syllabus of third semester okay let me start doing videos on these subjects as much as possible otherwise completely i will cover this digital system design using verilog subject for sure this is what the content of third semester you can comment your views on these subjects and your views thank you